This is Algebra 1, and our last lesson of the year is talking about data displays. So we're going to talk about four different ways we can display data. The first one you're probably familiar with is called a bar graph, and you want to choose that one when you have distinct categories. So what we're looking at is Mark Wire's um, number of hits and where they loca were located in the field. So we have left, left center, center, etc. So those are our distinct categories. And so the first thing we want to do is choose our scale. It looks like the smallest number we're dealing with is zero. Our largest is 31. So I think my scale is going to be from zero to 35 by groups of five. Next thing we want to do is label our axes. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to consider the x-axis. Uh, we'll call that the location, perhaps. Let's go ahead and get our pen here. And then we'll consider our y-axis, the number of runs. And we decided we're going to go by 5, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of room. Um, so then, then we're going to go ahead and start making our bar graph. Our first one is left, and it's 31, so I'm going to call this left. And we're going by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, about there. That's our first one. And you want to allow a little bit of space between them. So the next one is our left center. I'm just going to call it LC for short. And it looks like we had 21 in that category. So we're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, a little over 20. So we'll go about there. And the next one is center and that has 15. So this one is center and it has 5, 10, 15. You can see how this is going to go from here, okay? And then you want to give your graph a title, maybe number of hits or something, or location of hits. All right, next one we talk about is a histogram. You're going to want to choose a histogram when you're going by given intervals. And so in this one, we're talking about the distance those hits went. Okay, and four of them went this distance, 24 went this distance. So our shortest, smallest is four. Our largest number is 27. So let's go ahead and do a scale from zero to 30 by groups of five. Okay, and so we label our axes again, and let's go ahead. We'll call this x-axis um, the distance. And our Y will be frequency. Okay. And we're going by fives again. So our first one is 301 to 350. So we're going to label that 301 to 350. And how often did they go that far for? And we're going by fives. So that's going to be a short one, something like that. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20 again, 25, etc. Our next one picks up where that left off, 351 to 400. Change color so we can see better. And the 351 to 400. And what was the frequency of that one? 24. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So a little less than 25. So right about there. And with a histogram, oops, a little sloppy, but you don't want to leave space between. Let's do one more just to see. The next one is 401 to 450. So our next category, 401 to 450. And the frequency of that one would be 27, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So about here. Okay, and you can see how that's gonna look. Uh, next one is a line graph. When do you want to choose a line graph? When, when you want to show a change over time. So the data we have here is the temperature in December from the 1st of December till the 14th. Okay, so again, we're going to choose our scale. Um, I think we'll go our lowest temperature looks like it's about 20, is it? 20, and our highest temperature, it went up to 61 degrees. So I think we're going to go 
in groups of five again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. Um, our x-axis is going to be our date and our y-axis is going to be the temperature. Here we go, we're just gonna plot these points. So on the 1st of December, our temperature was 40 degrees, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. On the 2nd of December, it got up to 48 degrees, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 48 degrees, we said, so slightly below 50. The next one, we're at 49, then we get up to 60. 55, 60 right here, Oops, 61, slightly a little more than that. Then we drop all the way down to 24, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so about there. And then we're gonna connect those. And you can see it gives you a nice representation of the temperatures in December. Last one I wanna talk about is probably the most work for us. It's called the circle graph. And you wanna choose this one when you're showing parts of a whole. So in this one, we're talking about sports-related injuries. And first thing you need to do is total your number of injuries in this case. So I totaled it for us, and there's 150 injuries we're talking about. Then you want to write a fraction comparing the number to the total. And then we're going to multiply it by 360. A circle has 360 degrees. And so that's gonna tell us how big to make our section. So our first one is basketball. So we had 56 injuries in basketball out of a total 150. And then we're gonna multiply that by 360 again to tell us how big our section is, how many degrees to make that section. That one turned out to be 134.4. Okay, in a circle, a 90 degree angle is an L like this. That's 90, whoops, that's not 90. So I know it's gonna be a little bit more than an L, than a 90 degree. So I'm just gonna eyeball it here. 90 is this way, 180 is half of a circle. So it's gonna be somewhere between a quarter of a circle and a half of a circle. We could certainly use a protractor. If we were doing this on paper, we would use a protractor, but I'm just going to guess. And we're gonna call that one basketball. I should have left some room there for basketball. Okay. All right, our next section is football, and there were 34 injuries out of a total 150 reported. We're gonna multiply that by 360 to see how many degrees we're gonna make that one. So that turned out to be 81.6. So again, we know a quarter of a circle is 90 degrees. So I know this one's gonna be a little less than a quarter of the circle. So we can use a protractor, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Here would be 90 degrees, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And that one is football. And let's do one more just to practice. Next one is skating or hockey. And it looks like there were 22 injuries out of a total 150. Multiply by 360 to see how big our section turns out to be. And that one turned out to be 52.8 degrees. Again, let's, I start with my L. My L is about 90. And it's going to be a good bit smaller than that. So we're going to make it about that. Okay, and that's our hockey section. And you get the idea of this. You obviously can't create these on Schoology, so um, we created them for you, and you just answer questions on that. Please give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.